The magnified bacteria glowed an ominous red under fluorescent light in a lab at Montclair State University. Not good. So when it fluoresces red, it indicates that the cell is alive. Alive and growing, and that's bad news for Greenwood Lake, where the Montclair grad students collected new water samples Monday. The lake's one of four in New Jersey where an HAB, a harmful algal bloom, prompted the DEP to post advisories against swimming this summer. In some places, Greenwood's as green as its name. Students studying with Professor Mayan Wu had tested Greenwood's water at 15 places July 19th and counted bacteria per milliliter of water. Two of the site were in the million cells range. So Millions. Exactly. So it's considered high risk to use that water for recreation. High risk for rashes and diarrhea and with long-term exposure to the water, liver and nerve damage, she said. The other 13 Greenwood samples tested between 20 and 100,000 cells, with anything over 20,000 considered moderate risk, according to the World Health Organization. That triggered the DEP swim advisory here on Jersey's side of the seven-mile-long lake, but not in the shallower eastern part, which is in New York. That triggered some Jersey defiance. For the people that have been on this lake for a long time, the locals, they know there's really very, very minimal risk, if anything, and, and everybody's, I, they, the lake was very crowded yesterday. Were there people in the water? Yeah, absolutely, everywhere. I was in the water this morning, water skiing. Yeah. Yeah. And I can show that you just despite the advisory? Yeah, oh yeah. It's an advisory, the lake is not closed. What New Jersey has done, they've thrown a switch. They say anything over 20,000, it's not safe, but that's not really what, what it really means. Senator Joe Panaccio says New York eyeballs the water and closes beaches if it looks bad. New Jersey's 20,000 cell cutoff has meant weeks of HAB no swim advisories at Greenwood and Lake Apatcong, two high tourism areas. Surrounding states have different uh, standards than what we have. And you can't say New York standards, it, it, it's a very liberal environment as far as uh, being very environmentally sensitive. They're no less sensitive than New Jersey. So why does it seem that we're shutting Lake Opac on down for six weeks using what I think may be an arbitrary standard? A DEP spokesman says these numbers are based on extensive studies and analyses from a variety of organizations, including the World Health Organization. New Jersey uses levels that the state deems are protective of public health. But bacteria levels can shift quickly. After state testing, the DEP lifted advisories for a section of Lake Opatcong, Indian Point, that's accessible only by boat. And the Montclair team's doing a recount at Greenwood. A flow cam puts drops of the new samples through a laser scanner that identifies the type of bacteria and automatically counts cell strings. Here's Dolichospermum, just one of three dominant cyanobacteria in Greenwood Lake. The sample yielded a cell count of 560,000 per milliliter, and they all glow a healthy red. And they are reproducing. So very likely that we are either at the beginning stage or in the middle stage of a boom event. We probably won't see the boom to end for a while. The state is retesting Greenwood Lake tomorrow. Meanwhile, residents are demanding the DEP take action, fix this problem. But it's an issue with a long history involving money and politics. We'll have more on that tomorrow. In the newsroom, I'm Brenda Flanagan.